Okay, so this volume of oil in a tank question, it's a 2017 mock paper. Part A, you're told that oil is stored in a cylindrical tank. Just write that down, cylindrical. So it's a cylinder. John wants to be able to calculate the volume of oil in his tank by dipping a stick vertically into the tank. First part is easy enough. Just show OK is equal to R minus H. If I, these are all Rs. There's going to be an R. If I just color this line in blue, that's an R2. So it gives this another letter. We have an O, B, C. Let's call this A. So we can say that O, A is equal to a radius. And O, A minus H is equal to O, K. So R minus H is equal to the same length as OK. OK, part B, show that the area of triangle OBK, so that's this one here, can be written as area is half R minus H, which you've gotten from the previous part here, multiplied by the square root of 2RH minus H squared. OK, so we're looking at this triangle here. The right angle triangle, the right angle being here. So half the base by the height, that's where the half is coming from. So we have R minus H, which is okay, that's the base. So we're looking for the height, so the height must be this one here. So let's have a look at how we'll do that. Draw my triangle. Just get my letters again, R, K, B, and R minus H was okay. okay. Okay, so we need KB here. So let's get it in terms of R and R minus H. So R squared is equal to R minus H squared plus KB to be squared. So we leave KB on its own there on the right hand side. R squared minus R minus H to be squared is equal to KB to be squared r squared minus r squared minus 2 r h plus h squared just go across a little bit is equal to k b to be squared so this these r squares are going to cancel r squared minus r squared plus 2 r h plus h squared is equal to k B to be squared, so KB is equal to the square root of that guy, which is that, it should be that guy up there, where we're, we should have a mi oh no, minus H squared, look at that, my mistake, now by checking what they're looking for, you can see this mistake in here. So KB is equal to the square root of 2 or H minus H squared, sorry that should be a big R, mysteriously changed to a little one, big R. So the area of the triangle, half the base by the height, half the base by the perpendicular height is equal to half or minus h, which was from part one. That perpendicular height is two or h minus h squared. Part C of this question, show that the area of sector OCB can be expressed as theta is equal to r squared by the inverse cos of R minus H over R. Okay, let's go back up and have a look at that. OCB, so we're looking at the triangle, the full triangle, OCB. So what we're looking for here is the area of this whole sector here. O to C to B, not the triangle. Now, the area of a sector, let's just go down and have a look at that down here. The area of a sector is a half or squared theta. But if we look at the diagram, look at the diagram, we're looking at two of them. So theta is in here on this side. So we'd have to double that. So the area of that sector is twice a half or squared theta, which is equal to or squared theta. So um, we need to get what theta is. They're asked to show, well, we can get the area. So that we have inverse cos, there's a, a clue in here. So the cos, if we look at our diagram, the cos of theta, 
cos of theta is a over h so a was that one from part one or minus h and h is or so the cos of theta is or minus h over or the cos of theta is equal to or or minus h over or so the inverse cos of theta or what theta is excuse me the inverse cos theta is the inverse cos of the other side so theta is equal to the inverse cos of or minus h over or so the area of my sector we can write as theta is equal to sorry the area of the sector is equal to um r squared theta so r squared by and we have theta now by the inverse cos of r minus h over r and that was part c and that is equal to theta so in part d we're asked for the volume of liquid in a tank of length l so if we look at this it's going to be well it's going to be l times obviously the prism and the, the circle at the front so we have a circle so it's the area of the circle take away the area of the sector that we've just found which is this one so we take that away from the area of the circle what would we have to add on we have we would have to add on the triangle so let's write that down the area of the circle plus the area of the sector minus sorry minus the area of the sector plus the area of the triangle so it's going to be l times the area of the circle well that's pi r squared minus the area of the sector plus the area of the triangle okay so we got the area of the sector here and hence always means that some information from the previous parts should be used so this is the sector area of the triangle did we get the area of the triangle earlier let's have a look well we got this one what was this this was one of the triangles wasn't it it was this one on the right hand side here so if we double this one double this just write it down here double well it's just a half in front is going to go so we can just write that information down you can see that's what's given in the question r minus h by the square root of that so the only information really we needed was to write this out and then fill the answers in that we already have so l by pi times the radius squared they wanted the plus part next so plus the area of the triangle is plus if you want to write it like this it's plus twice times a half or minus h by the square root of 2 or h minus h squared and then we're going to have to take away the area of the sector which was this guy here take away r squared by the inverse cos of r minus h over r and the two and the half cancel and you don't need to write the line out again and the last part of this question was probably straightforward enough to calculate the volume of oil in a full tank thankfully we don't have to fill it into this guy in a full tank in terms of pi so the volume of that tank is l the length of it because it's a prism by pi r squared and um, we're given the length is 2.5 let's write that's 5 over 2 so we don't have to use a calculator 5 over 2 by pi by 3 quarters not 0.75 3 quarters to be squared so we're going to get 5 over 2 times pi times 9 over 16 which is equal to 45 pi over 32 so good luck practicing this question